welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. If you do want to see a review and a demo, please keep watching. This is what the packaging looks like. It says Makeup Forever 12 Hour Foundation. And then there is some directions here on the back. It does come in different languages. And then here on the side, you do have the ingredients. When you open up the packaging, here's what the powder foundation looks like. It comes in this little compact here. And let's open it up. Ooh, this has a mirror in it. How cool. I love when any compact foundation has a mirror in it. Here is the powder foundation here, and it does come with a sponge. I'm just going to remove this little plastic here so we can see if this mirror is good quality. Let's see. This mirror is actually very good quality. You guys know that I'm a die-hard Makeup Forever fan. I do love their Ultra HD Liquid Foundation. I do also love their Velvet Skin Blur Liquid Foundation, and I also love their Powder Compact. Makeup Forever has not let me down, and I keep repurchasing from this brand. I love how they have a ton of shades. I was on Sephora's website, and I did see this blurring foundation. I have already tested out this Velvet Skin Foundation. I really do enjoy this. I definitely wanted to put this blurring powder foundation to the test, so let's go ahead and open this up and let's try it on. I got the shade in Y445. This is my perfect match. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to try and not blind you guys with the mirror. So I'm going to hold that. So here is what the powder foundation looks like. I just want to swatch this. Ooh, it's actually very buttery. It definitely matches my skin complexion. You can barely notice it. The compact powder foundation also comes with this dual ended sponge. You get this white side and you do get the black side. I do want to read a little bit about this powder foundation on the back of the packaging. It does say next generation mattifying foundation that blurs imperfections for 12 hours. I will be working about 10 hours or so today, so we're gonna see if this will last 12 hours as it does claim, and leaves a second skin finish. That sounds exciting. The formula contains the latest generation Flexi Fit Puzzle Complex which adapts to the movements of the skin while also letting it breathe. Oh, very cool. Your complexion is left looking velvety and natural, never chalky. This foundation is also water resistant for a long lasting matte look. You guys know I am extremely oily, so anything that's long lasting, matte, natural, I am all about. Does say application techniques for optimal coverage, apply the foundation using the black side of the sponge, Use the white side for a lighter makeup look. We're definitely going to be trying out both sides of the sponge. I say medium to high coverage, suitable for all skin types. Let's go ahead and try out this powder foundation. I've already primed and moisturized my skin. For moisturizer, I went in with my Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream. For moisturizer today, I currently have on my Too Faced Hangover Primer. Because I knew that this was going to be a matte foundation, I did want to add a little bit more moisture to my skin. Now we're finally going to apply this foundation. I'm going to take the white side of the sponge. I'm just going to go in it just a little bit. I already have a little bit. On one side of my face, I'm just going to apply it using the white side, and then the other side, I'm going to be using the black side. Wow, that is some pigmentation. This shade is a little bit too dark for me, which is interesting, because normally the shade in Y445 is my perfect match. Anyways, we're just going to try it out. This is extremely soft to the touch. I like how it does blend out. It's not really covering, which is because we are using the white side instead of the black side. I haven't dipped back in for some more powder. I do want to see how much coverage. Is it me or am I looking a little bit orange? I'm going to dabble back into the powder for another swipe. That way we can cover up our forehead. So far, I'm not really liking the light coverage side. It didn't really cover as much. Now we're going to try the black side. I'm just going to take the black side of the sponge. Get a little bit on there, like so. Hopefully, we can achieve full coverage using this side. That definitely looks like full coverage with one swipe. Normally, I don't reach for powder foundations. I prefer liquid foundations, but since it's been way too humid and hot here in Florida, maybe a powder foundation would work and my foundation would not slip off or melt off. I don't like the shade that I did purchase, which is weird because this is the shade I always wear. I do like how it is covering everything up using the black side of the sponge. It does cover. I'm just gonna do a dabbing motion instead of a sliding motion. I'm not even sure if Makeup Forever did change their colors. 
did they change their shades here's what the powder foundation looks like using the black side of the sponge I do like the coverage you can still see some of my spots peeking through so it's not full coverage whereas a liquid foundation would cover that up and then on this side of my face we did use the white side of the sponge I don't like the coverage on this side either it's very light this powder foundation does retail for $38 at Sephora and it does come in 30 different shades let's look online to see if I can find something in a lighter shade the shade range is really weird online it goes from the shade Y445 amber all the way to Y425 so you don't have anything in between. I'm looking at the shade chart here. Try getting Y425. Hopefully that would match me. I'm just going to add a little bit more coverage on my right side of my face. Even though that this foundation doesn't match. But I do want to see the longevity of this foundation. How it does wear throughout my day. Here's what the foundation is currently looking like. Here we have the light side using the white side. Here we have the black sponge side. Again, I do know that this powder foundation does not match me, but looking up close in the mirror, I really do like how it did blur out my pores. You can't see any of my pores. I am gonna make this powder foundation work, so I'm gonna bronze my face, I'm gonna add some blush. Whenever I'm testing out a new foundation, I normally won't add anything on top of the foundation, especially if it's a new foundation. They want to see how it does wear alone separately throughout the day because this shade does not match me at all. I'm also going to use a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to add some blush and I'm also going to go in with this Wet n Wild Press Powder. I'm just going to take a little bit of this Wet n Wild Press Powder and just apply it underneath my eyes. This may look like a ton of powder for some people. Hopefully it's not. We're going to set it with some setting spray. Like I did mention to you guys, this blurring powder it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. I think by adding the setting powder, I look worse than I originally did. But that's totally fine. We are going to make this work. Add some on my chin. Add some to my forehead. Just to lighten up the skin a bit. I tried to make this shade work for me to the best of my ability. I use my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. You guys know that I love this stuff. I've already hit pan on it. The sponge is disgusting. Here's another look of what my makeup is looking like. I do prefer the black sponge side because it does give me more coverage. I might as well use a lip powder. So this is in the shade Snowed In. I did a full lip swatch video. If you guys are interested, I'll link it right over here in the cards. I'm going to be applying a lip liner by Kylie. I just want to align my lips just a bit. And we're going to go back in with this lip powder and snowed in. I do want to set everything in place using my Wet n Wild Photo Finish Cucumber Setting Spray. Give this a little shake. Here's a final look of what everything does look like. I will check back in with you guys at the end of the night to see how this powder foundation does perform and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is the end of the night of me testing out the Makeup Forever Blurring Matte Foundation. Here's what the foundation is currently looking like. Again, I do know that this foundation shade is way too dark on me. I really did like how this foundation did wear throughout my day. I am a little bit shiny here and in my nose area, but other than that, I really do like how this foundation did wear. Looking at this foundation close up in the mirror, and I do really like how this foundation did blur out my pores. It just did not blur out my nose pores. Right where my nose is, you guys can still see my pores. Other than that, I really did like how this foundation did wear throughout my day. I've been wearing this powder foundation for about 10 hours now, and it really does hold up to its claim. It lasted a really long time in my opinion. Love this dual-ended sponge. I actually prefer the black sponge side versus the white sponge side. After everything did set, I really cannot notice a difference on the coverage of the foundation. Even though this side we did use the black side sponge, Whereas this side, we did use the white side sponge. Both sides look really, really good in my opinion. I will be going to Sephora later this week, and I will see if these are sold in store. I already did place my order, and I purchased this in the shade 
Y405, so that will be coming soon. And then what I also found out is that they discontinued this, the Pro Finish. This was my favorite powder. I just never purchased a backup. I'm super sad about that. I want to mention to you guys, I really do like how my blush does look on top of this foundation. I like the contour that I use. It looks really snatched. I will check back in with you guys at the end of the week to let you guys know my final thoughts on this foundation. Hopefully I will have the correct shade by then and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is day four of me testing out the Makeup Forever Velvet Matte Skin Powder Foundation. It finally came in the mail. The shade that I ordered was Y405, which you guys can see right here on the back. So let's go ahead and open this up and hopefully this shade does match me. Here we have the shade in Y405. Let's go ahead and swatch. Let's see what this shade looks like. I think this shade might be a little bit too light. I don't know. I'm just horrible at shade matching online. If anything, I will go into Sephora and pick up the correct shade. Since I do have this shade in Y05, we might as well try it on and see what it looks like. I'm going to be using the black sponge side. We're just going to be going right into it. I have some on the back of my sponge. Wow. That's actually a really pretty good match. What? It matches me really nicely. I'm actually surprised that this shade matches me. I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. I'm gonna be grabbing a little bit more of the powder foundation. We're just going to blend. I did also prime and moisturize my skin. For moisturizer, I went in with my Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream. You guys know that is my favorite right now. For moisturizer, I currently have on my Too Faced Hangover Primer. Here's what the powder foundation looks like. I don't think that this powder foundation, for me at least, it's not a full coverage powder foundation. You can still see the darkness underneath my eyes. For the left side of my face, I am going to be using the white side of the sponge just to see what it looks like. I'm going to take a little bit on my sponge, a little bit on there. I just want to see. The sheer side I like it covers up my redness really nicely and that was just two swipes this powder foundation is pigmented but I don't think it's full coverage to me in my opinion I do prefer the black sponge side because it does give me full coverage I'm gonna finish up applying the powder all over my left side of my face here's the left side of my face using the white side of the sponge I do like how using the white side of the sponge, it does look very natural. Here's a final look on how the powder foundation does look like. I won't be applying any makeup on top of the foundation because I do want to see how the foundation does wear by itself. I'm just going to be adding on some mascara and I'll be right back. I added some mascara to my lashes and I popped on a bold lip. Here's another look on what the foundation does look like. I will check back in with you guys at the end of the night to see how this foundation does perform, and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is the end of the night of me testing out the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation in the shade Y405. Here is what the foundation is currently looking like. When I did apply the foundation earlier, I was looking at the footage. I did notice that the foundation did look a little bit white on camera, but in person, it looks fantastic. It matches me perfectly. I really did like how this powder foundation did wear throughout my day. I did get oily right here where my cheek area is, and per usual, my forehead. I made sure that I did not blot throughout my entire work day because I wanted to show you guys what I look like in my oily state. I just have a tissue here, and I'm just going to be blotting the right side of my face. A lot of the powder foundation did come off on the tissue, but here's what the foundation looks like. After blotting out this foundation using a tissue, I did notice that some of the foundation did start to come up. So you guys can still see some of my darkness peeking through here. So far so good. I really do like the formula of this foundation. This is my fourth day trying out the formula. This is my first day trying out this shade. I do think that this shade does match me perfectly. Well, in person, it does match me perfectly. I still do have the same concerns as I did earlier when I first tested out this foundation. 
I don't feel like this foundation is a blurring foundation in my opinion. You can still see my pores right over here where my nose area is. So I would have to use a pore filling primer. If you have perfect skin, then this foundation might be full coverage for you. Or if you just want a little bit of powder on the go. But for me personally, so far using this foundation on day four, I don't feel like it's full coverage for me. You never know, my opinion might change by day seven. So I will check back in with you guys at the end of the week to let you guys know my final thoughts on this powder foundation. And I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is the end of the week of me testing out the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. My final thoughts on this foundation is that I don't really like this powder foundation. I am currently wearing this powder foundation in the shade Y405 with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I do really like it with the primer. It does kind of blur out my pores using this primer. Using this powder foundation alone, I don't think it really did blur out any of my pores. My final thoughts on this powder foundation is that I really do like the formula. I like how lightweight it is. It's not pigmented for me because you guys can still see my little darkness peeking through. I really do like the packaging. There is this little button here where you can just open it up. I really did enjoy this sponge. It's not that flimsy white sponge that you normally get with a powder foundation. This is actually a really good sponge and I preferred using the black sponge side as you guys know. I love the mirror in this powder foundation. It is high quality. It is good to travel with. If any of you guys were wondering, the lip shade that I am currently wearing is by ColourPop. This is in the shade Brick and Frat. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.